Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have sun, moon, rising, your Venus placements in Pisces or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. All right. All right. What is going on? So we have, I'm leaving them. I'm leaving them. Please be patient. Lord, here we go. <laughs> I hide secrets. Oh, so was this person hiding that they had another person, but they're leaving them to be with you? What in the heck? <sighs> oh gosh, here we go. Money issues. Mm -hmm. And we have show affection. Hmm, let's show affection. We have heal on the back of the deck. You have nothing to be worried about. I made a mistake. Hmm, this is very similar. Some of you guys are Pisces, Aquarius, Cuspers. What is, I need to know what show affection is. Why is show affection here? They don't feel the same. What does this have to do with Pisces? Show affection and they don't feel the same. Stay together. They want to be, so some, what? Oh, you know what's going on here, y'all? So this person you're dealing with is leaving somebody behind who they've been keeping as a secret. Okay, so you could be a secret that they're keeping from this person and they could have been keeping that person a secret from you, right? But they're maybe with this person for financial issues, but this person that they're with actually likes them, wants like them to show affection towards them, like has feelings for them, right? But they're, they're your person, this person you've been dealing with does not feel that way about them, right? They want to be with you. Two, two, two on the camera as I'm saying that. They may have something to do with kids. It says, put your, your kids and priorities first. Stable person, mature, has their shit together. I am letting down my walls. Maybe they feel like you are somebody that puts your kids first and you're very, you prioritize well. You're a stable person. You have your shit together. So they want to let down their guard with you. It says, I have a surprise and a gift for you. Ooh, I hope this person may have a child with somebody else, guys. I don't know. So another child that you're not aware of. What's the relationship between this person and this, this person that they don't want a heartbreak? There's heartbreak there or this person is heartbroken that your person doesn't want them what in the heck? falling in love. Yeah, they've fallen in love with your person. How's your person feel? How does your person feel? Ooh, I lied about the details. What's this? Yeah, friends. They wanted to just. OK. Yeah, they have some type of connection here where somebody is falling in love with them but they don't really like that person that way but they maybe are tied to this person because either a child or money issues all right and um what but this person still wants them i lied about the details lord somebody's like all in love with them and the the the, the, the person doesn't want feel that way they lied about something. What did they lie about? I lied about the details. I missed out. They lied and now they missed out. What's this have to do with? Okay, so where, is, where does it stand with my Pisces collective? Invest in your dreams. So they're telling you to invest in your dreams. Don't invest in this person or put so much energy on into them. Yeah, because they're not available. Okay, guys. They're either emotionally unavailable or they're li literally in another relationship. Guys, what did I say? This is what I just said about this. What the F is going on? Literally, there's probably a lot of confusion surrounding this person. Yeah, not the one. Mm -hmm. This isn't your person. Yeah, they're telling you just you have nothing to be worried about. Just focus on your healing or you will heal from this person or you will, will, will heal from this situation. Yeah, look at this. This is coming out again. Secret baby or child. Claw what? What about this secret baby or child? Secret, he likes she he or she likes it toxic with me. Lord. What, what's that with a secret baby or child? You deserve love. 
So somebody has a secret baby or a child. He or she likes it toxic with me. This person wants a toxic relationship. They don't want anything healthy. You deserve genuine love. I took the easy way out. Skeletons in the closet. Somebody has like another child or something. I was not good enough for you. So somebody has like a kid. Or something here. Yeah, there's some type of complex. Maybe. What is that? Past life connection. Sexually addicted. Somebody maybe was like, yeah, somebody was not trying to. Um, It's like somebody just wants to like focus on the kids and the the like the the money of aspect but somebody wants like an actual relationship mm -hmm, yeah. self-care is advised love you more yeah all right let's see what's going on here Tell me I'm le clarify I'm leaving them for you. leaving them please be patient mm, whoever this person is that they're leaving behind is like really manipulative cold yeah spiteful cruel unforgiving ooh malicious bitter or somebody's really bitter about the fact that they're being left behind yeah they feel like rejected or they're not happy about this they feel like they're they've missed an opportunity or something like that this person's not happy about somebody's not happy about it Tell you what, I, it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell you what, I hide secrets. Mm, see, there's like one person. They're, they're leaving this Queen of Swords. Or I hope that. What does the Queen of Pentacles mean for Pisces? You're the one that they want to work on something with. Yeah, you're the one that they want to work on something with. They view as very nurturing and practical and a good mom or a dad, generous. Yeah, you, you got your shit together. Yeah, you could be a work, you working single mom or dad, working parent. Mm -hmm. Good, you could even own a business. But they're like trying to keep you a secret here from this other person who is bitter. If they're not, I don't know, it looks like they're with that person, but... They just know that, that they could know that that person's still bitter. Like even if that person does know that your person doesn't want to be with them anymore, they're still bitter about that. Why is this person so bitter? Because your person's walking away from them. Yeah, the emperor. They the, 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 This person doesn't love them. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. You're like this person's, they view you as positivity and ultimate happiness and they, they feel like they can have an out, optim, optimistic outcome with you if they work together with you on something. Give me more clarity on what's tying them to this Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Swords in reverse. Self-limiting beliefs. What is tying them to this Queen of Swords in reverse? Mm. Sex. What is, the, what is it? They don't. Mm. What is tying them to this queen? Of, why are they why are they still with this person? The tower, the queen of pentacles. They've had some type of like financial loss or they're worried about some type of financial loss from this person. Yeah, king of pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You guys are, this is coming out, they're coming out as the king of pentacles and you're coming out as the queen of pentacles. So you guys are like a good match here. But they're worried about some, what does the tower mean for this person? That's going to lead to some type of, yeah, the, the Eight of Swords in reverse. They're going to have to overcome their fear. They can maybe... Uh, yeah, there's some type of fear that they have about... It could have something to do with money.
So y'all, yeah, money issues. Queen of Wands, King of Wands here. What Aries Leo Sag energy? What about the King of Wands? They're taking. I'm telling you. But what about money issues though? What does that do? Why, how do these two cards turn turn into money issues? It's like they want to take action to release this. But it's like they are in these self-limiting beliefs or something like that. Or they're really, what, what, how does this relate to money issues? Tell me more. Justice. Maybe this is like going to be a devolt. They're going to do it though. They're going to move forward with it. They're, or they're working on moving forward with it. But they know that this is going to hurt somebody. It's like they're worried about hurting somebody or something being on their conscience. Why? Or it's like there's secrets here. They want to make amends with you. But they're like hiding this. They're keeping this on the down low. But I feel like it's going to come to light. If you didn't know about this other connection and if you didn't know about this person's money issues and all that stuff, you're going to find out about it. Or you and this person, you and the, this other person they're entertaining are going to find out about each other. Tell me about show affection. Yeah. It's like show up. We have the three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken because they want to be shown affection and yeah, look at this. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody got caught doing something. Somebody could have got caught. They could have got caught showing you affection. Or this person maybe regrets playing this other person because they've gotten themselves into a situation. What about the Three of Swords and show affection? The Six of Swords in reverse. Returning to a tr trouble or unable to move on. It's like somebody can't move on from them. Somebody's maybe a little bit obsessed with them. Or they feel trapped in a situation now. They were like maybe a little too nice to somebody that they shouldn't. <laughs> that is, has become a little bit. Yeah. What is Why is this a problem for this person? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're not happy with this person. Conflict. They're having a lot of conflict and disagreements with this person. Yeah, there's just no love there between them and this person. Yeah, what about the Empress in reverse? The world? That's just not going to grow into anything. Like, they, they don't want that to go anywhere. This person could have even maybe wanted to have a child with your person. Or tried to have a baby with your person. Or something like that. There could have been something about a baby in the mix or something. I don't know, but... The Empress is in reverse, so I don't feel like there's a pregnancy here. I don't know what that's about. That secret baby child crap, but. Or maybe somebody had a baby on them. Mmm, somebody could have had a baby on them. Oh, what? <laughs> this is so messy. So is this person leaving behind somebody? They're leaving somebody behind, walking away from somebody who was cheating on, who had a baby on them with somebody else, a secret baby. What, what does show affection mean for this person directly? What does that mean for this person directly? See, they don't want this anymore. They don't feel love or affection for this person. Why? Or they feel rejected? Why? There's disharmony here. Why do they just they're just thinking about money. They're thinking about money. Yeah. That's why they're not they kind of feel a little bit powerless. That's why they're not walking away from this, but this is not something that they want to be with. They don't want to be with this person. The what does the show affection mean for the other person? I don't get it. What is show affection? Mm hmm. Let me see. I want to see. Tell me about show affection. Mm, there, somebody maybe has issues. Oh, you know what this is? This person has issues with showing affection to you because they're heartbroken over somebody that had a baby on them. I can't make this up, guys. Like somebody had a baby on them. They're they're still dealing with that person to some degree, though, or they're leaving that person. They, this person maybe had a baby on them, but they haven't left them all the way yet because of financial reasons, but they don't love this person. But it says therapy and counseling is recommended. 
give me one more card to tell me about they, they, this person does not know how to show affection because of some type of past heartbreak or loss power couple what about power couple you guys could be a power couple but you're it says you're not the only one they're still why are they i just don't i do this with everyone no hard feelings why are they still holding on to this third party if this person had a baby on the yep invest your money wisely there there's something about they invested money or something into this person what about they can be trusted what about they can be trusted okay something is like coming to an if this person was gaslighting you or they would like discard something is coming to an end here Ooh, they could be somebody could be blackmailing your person I want to control you. Somebody's trying to maintain control over your person. This mistake cost me what matters. Mm, they got involved with a psycho. Kids are a factor in this. Yeah, something. What is the, the thing with the kids and this person? The two of them. I'm lost without you. Kids and this these two people. What is the children? This baby. Whatever. What does that mean for them? Yeah. They, I want you for superficial reasons. Image, money, benefits. This is, Yeah. It's not love there between the two of them, but this person, this person that they're with, maybe at some point they were unable to see how, how, um, how wicked this person was. Yeah. They were maybe trying to please this person, make this person happy. I'm secret. And but somebody was secretly plotting against them or it's like, they're putting on this facade that like they wanted this person or something like that, but they were really, what is I'm secretly plotting against you mean for this person? I'm letting down my walls and what I miss you. What? I'm secretly plotting against you. It's like they're secretly trying to get out of this other situation. They're they're wearing they're playing both sides or something, guys. I don't know. They were trying to have their cake and eat it too, but it's like they're trying to like carefully get out of this situation with their ex. Ex partner affecting connection. They could have like this person could have used sex magic on your person. What? heartbreak i'm telling you this person either they lost a baby with this person or th this person had a baby on them you didn't i just say that <laughs> evil spells or dark magic guys this is the messiest reading i've done in a minute so either they have some type of connection with this person because they had they were they were gonna have a baby together they lost it or this paper person had a baby on them because there's something about that baby that is also linked to heartbreak. All right. So that is quite interesting, y'all. Mm, mm. So I, this reading is going on way longer than I expected it to. What is this mess? All right. Tell me more slow and steady yeah they're they have a fear of like intimacy and all types of things because of this person some old fears they had yeah this person was crazy some old fears still linger but they want to get to know you better don't rush it take your time not the right time there are lessons to be learned trust the journey yep resistance yeah they're still resisting your connection it's just not the right time for you and this person yeah, but it's something faded about your connection for sure. Yeah, you guys are soulmates or something, soul connection. They're going to open their heart to you. after the, It was very hard for them to open up, but they're going to because of this third party. Or it's somebody that they were still involved with to some degree. And it, it could have been because of money or something to do with children. Or they felt like they had some type of obligation to this person. What was the nature? I just don't understand. Ego death. The journey wasn't easy. They're fully aware of their mistakes and want to make things right. What does that do with? Maybe they feel like they owed this person. They maybe they maybe felt like they did something dirty to this person. Karmic cycle. They just the karmic cycle just isn't over between them and this person. But they're gonna choose you. I mean, that's gonna be up to you how you handle that. Well, that part if you I don't know. I'm not even going to get too much into this timing. One card, Spirit, tell me. Yeah, they're going to pursue what they love very last minute. They do have love for you. Tell me what this is leading to, Spirit. Unexpected. Something happening out of the blue. A sudden turn of events. When? 
Mm, it's like somebody didn't know what they wanted or they were pretty lost. And then there's like an unexpected turn of events. Yeah, things are very, are stagnant. And then they, they finally complete a cycle here. They break free from the fear. And what are they going to, what's that mean? Yeah, they're just telling you to bide your time. It's only a matter of time before this person breaks free from some type of fear. And it says worth waiting for. All good things take time. Yeah, Pisces season. Do what aligns with your spirituality and do something that's kind of outside of your comfort zone. Or this is what they need to do. Yeah, it's like when you let go, what's for you will come. Clean, control, resistance. Let go of what's holding you back. Airy season, spontaneity creates a shift. So it's like there's going to be a shift here leading to reconciliation. When is this person coming back, Spirit? When? Mm, they're just saying it's destined for them to come back. They don't really want to tell me. End of the month. When? End of what month? I don't know. It's something about you walking away from this person. After you walk away from them because they can't have their cake and eat it too anymore, you may hear from this person next month. Yeah, but we have we have, we have next month and farther into the future. How much farther into the future? See, now we have far, faster than you think. This is like someone's starting to awaken. It's something about when you're achieving true independence, you're happy and content. You're not looking. Then boom, here they want to come in. Uh, yeah, you have clarity coming in. I don't know. They're not really wanting to tell me. When can they expect to hear from this person? Hold on. When can they expect to hear from this person next? Or when are they coming? Yeah, they don't want me. They don't want to tell me. It just says divine timing. Oh, goodness, y'all. These messy situations. Why can't people just do right? Like, I just don't understand. <laughs> Hidden blessing. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. Let off steam. Be conscious not to hold any stress, anger, or anxieties. Reconnect with the, your spirit and let it all out. Wait. Yeah. Don't feel rushed to make a decision right now. Spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. You're going to be hearing from this person. I don't know when, but you are. And they're telling you self-love. Yeah. Love yourself. Keep self-love in mind when you get this communication from this person and use discernment. And it says, angelic help. You have angels who are near, ready to assist you in your growth and accomplishing your divine life purpose. You're going to be getting back on track. Yeah. This person's going to finally break free from some type of fear. Rebel. Not care about the consequences. See, what is family? Thoughts. It could have something to do with family too. Like maybe they have their family in their ear. or so, And winter could be significant. Maybe this is playing out in the winter. That's when there will be some type of change. But um, yeah, keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs. So what does that have to do with family? True love. Mm -hmm. Spring. Mm -hmm, y'all. Say so yes. Maybe like by next springtime. This is something that's going to maybe take a while. All is well. You're going to get clarity. That there is true love between you and this person. But just know that it may take until like the winter. And like you're going to spend some time apart from this person. And it may not come together until like the springtime. I did see April. Maybe that's when you and this person will, will be able to maybe work on something and it'll work like actually b grow into something. You will actually be able to build something on a solid foundation. But this is what's currently going on. <laughs> All right. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.